Cedar Rapids, Iowa, Bachelor of Fine Arts in Integrated Studio Arts. <laughs> Alyssa Marie Shearer from Ankeny, Iowa, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Integrated Studio Arts, with a minor in psychology. Sarah Kimberly Reagan from Apple Valley, Minnesota, honors magna cum laude, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Integrated Studio Arts, with a second major in International Studies, and a minor in Environmental Science. Annalisa Perquacho from Long Grove, Iowa, Integrated Studio Arts. <laughs> Tiffany Jean Nugent from Wilmington, Illinois, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Integrated Studio Arts. <laughs> Mina D. Nigari from Bondurant, Iowa, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Integrated Studio Arts with a minor in advertising. Molly Ann McCarthy from West Des Moines, Iowa, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Art and Design. Shelby Elizabeth Maxwell from Iowa City, Iowa, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Integrated Studio Arts. Elizabeth Krabby from Council Bluffs, Iowa, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Integrated Studio Arts with a minor in advertising. Jacob Jones from Sioux City, Iowa, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Integrated Studio Arts, and a Bachelor of Advertising. Marjan Farakabesh from Ames, Iowa, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Integrated Studio Arts. Autumn Aline Dunham from Jewel, Iowa, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Integrated Studio Arts. <laughs> Alyssa M. Campbell from Waukee, Iowa, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Integrated Studio Arts. <laughs> Emily M. Busey from Danville, Iowa, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Integrated Studio Arts. Mackenzie Marie Boilo from White Bear Lake, Minnesota, Bachelor of Arts, Art and Design. This concludes the graduates from the Department of Art and Visual Culture. Please welcome Kimberly Zaracor, Program Director, and Kevin Owens, Lecturer, to the center stage for the Interdisciplinary Design Program. Kevin was voted by the students to address the graduating class. Good morning. This is the first group from the program to graduate as interdisciplinary disciplinary design majors, which is a name change that's very important to them. Uh, what is interdisciplinary design? This is an important topic for all of us this year, trying to understand what it means. Um, let me give you a quote from Zoltan Sepeshi, who's a painter from the golden days of uh, Cranbrook. He was the academic mentor to my academic mentor during the time of Eames and Saarinen and Bertoia and all of those people. And he said, um, compartmentalization is the hindrance to growth for a creative person. And so you guys don't have that. Um, for the first time, you actually can set your own course and, and allow it to come true for you. Um, I look also at H.G. Quito, who was a famous classicist in Britain during the mid-20th century. And he once said that the modern mind divides while um, it specializes and it thinks in categories, while the ancient Greek instinct was the opposite, to take the holistic view, to see things as an organic whole. And it was the Olympic Games that were designed to test the whole person, not merely a specialized skill. The great event was the pentathlon. If you won this, you were truly an Olympian. Needless to say, the marathon was never heard of until modern times. The Greeks would have regarded it as a monstrosity because it was an act of war and a desperate act at that. So society's aspirations, I'm telling you, are not likely to emerge from a deeper furrow of specialization. Um, what is interdisciplinary? 
It is interdisciplinary versus disciplinary. Interdisciplinarian versus disciplinarian. And I tell you, probably, uh, referring back to your old name, not a lot of society would look favorably at the next person coming up to them, wanting a job and calling themselves a design bachelor. <laughs> it's a little bit of an odd category. So who will be there when the next interdisciplinary field emerges to help? Because you all know what it means to cross disciplines in your work. Let me name just three examples. Uh, there's a new one called quantum computing. Quantum computing is where physics and computing, computer science, have common boundaries and are emerging into a new field that never existed before that will probably replace everything we know about silicon computing. So who will be there when quantum computing needs a new form for hardware and software? It may look a little bit more like Harry Potter than Windows and Mice. Who will be there when display technology finally reaches and solves the three-dimensional display problem that we all have been dreaming about since Star Wars came out 40-some years ago. This is where graphic design, cinematography, solid modeling all come together to meet interface design. And you all can be there for that. Who will be there when the new field of immersive fitness comes to your local gym or yoga center or fitness club? Immersive fitness has already reached the two coasts, and it's well on its way to a national and international platform. This is where immersive environmental interior design will meet service sector health and fitness clubs at the local level. You all can do that. You know from the portfolio class in 491, we do a thing called World of Designers, where we, we chart and map all the different kinds of design specialties that have come into play, especially in recent years. You might know that the one from this last year contained more than 50% of the creative career fields in design that did not exist when I graduated, a mere 30 years ago. So keep in touch. I want you to keep in touch with the program. I want you to come back. I want you to be on the other end of the Skype when we call in the fall for the portfolio class, because I know a lot of you were really inspired by previous graduates from this class, or from this program, who Skyped into our class. And we're going to do more of that. So when you go out and have the breadth of thinking to join in the next emerging field, I want you to tell us about it so we can be there too. Thanks. Thank you, Kevin. And now we will recognize the interdisciplinary design graduates. Yep. Nicholas D. Alvarez Zimpel from Traer, Iowa. Bachelor of Arts in Interdisciplinary Design. Marlon Q. Burkhatter from Chicago, Illinois. Bachelor of Arts in Interdisciplinary Design. Marion Alexandra Beyer from LaGrange, Illinois. Bachelor of Arts Interdisciplinary Design and a minor in Advertising. Karis Michelle Bruki from McHenry, Illinois, ba Bachelor of Arts in Interdisciplinary Design. Kimberly C. Dale from State Center, Iowa, Honors Magna Cum Laude, Bachelor of Arts Interdisciplinary Design with a minor in Critical Studies in Design. Dylan Mark Depereau from Burlington, Iowa, Bachelor of Arts, Interdisciplinary Design with a minor in General Business. <laughs> Chloe Jean Enos from Polk City, Iowa, Bachelor of Arts in Interdisciplinary Design. <laughs> Levi Daniel Fink from Wadena, Iowa, Bachelor of Arts, Interdisciplinary Design. Emma Janine Ford from Council Bluffs, Iowa, Bachelor of Arts, Interdisciplinary Design. <laughs> Tara Marie Kraft from Robbins, Iowa, Honors Summa Cum Laude, Bachelor of Arts, Interdisciplinary Design with a minor in, in Apparel, Merchandising, and Design. <laughs> Jennifer K. LaFrance from Cedar Rapids, Iowa, Bachelor of Arts in Interdisciplinary Design with a minor in Gerontology. Benjamin Charles Leatherwood from Monument, Colorado, 
Honors Cum Laude, Bachelor of Arts, Interdisciplinary Design. <laughs> Madeline Grace Maurer from Wilton, Iowa, Bachelor of Arts, Interdisciplinary Design. <laughs> Samantha Joanna McCurdy from Russell, Iowa, Bachelor of Arts, Interdisciplinary Design. <laughs> Teodoro Mephalopoulos from Rome, Italy, Bachelor of Arts in Interdisciplinary Design. <laughs> Mitchell Bradley Mervold from Stillwater, Minnesota, Bachelor of Arts in Interdisciplinary Design. <laughs> William Brian Ockby from Marshalltown, Iowa, Bachelor of Arts in Interdisciplinary Design. Shelby Lynn Silvers from Carlisle, Iowa, Bachelor of Arts, Interdisciplinary Design. Chanel Brianne Whitford from Cedar Rapids, Iowa, Bachelor of Arts, Interdisciplinary Design with a minor in Women's Studies. Hunter Daniel Willey from Marion, Iowa, Honors Magna Cum Laude, Bachelor of Arts, Interdisciplinary Design. Allison Ray Wilson from Greenwich, Connecticut, Bachelor of Arts, Interdisciplinary Design. This concludes the graduates from the Interdisciplinary Design Program. Please give all of our graduates another round of applause. I think we're going to be on time. So a common denominator in all the messages today is the word success for obvious reasons. And in my mind, the best definition of success, at least for me, comes from uh, Ralph Waldo Emerson. And he said, success is to laugh often and much, to win the respect of intelligent people and the affection of children, to earn the appreciation of honest critics and endure the betrayal of false friends, to appreciate beauty, to find the best in others, to leave the world a bit better, whether by a healthy child, a garden patch, or a redeemed social condition, to know even one life has breathed easier because you have lived. This is to have succeeded. So I wish all of you success in Emerson's, uh, Emerson's terms. Live, be happy, Godspeed, and thank you for being here. So this concludes the ceremony. Just remember that the guys are going to take a quick picture before they leave, you know, with all uh, um, their friends. And I also want to remind you, you still have until 12.30, so please drive carefully, and I'll see you at Jack Trice for the ones that are going to be there. So thank you again for being here.